Hello Tarot fans and welcome to another edition of Blue Six Tarot. I'm your fantastic host Blue Six. Thank you so much for watching. Now, first off, I'd like to say thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, we are nearly hitting our target. Target is to get to 350 subscribers to, at the end of the month. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. But just, just that that far away, just a little bit far away. And if you do wind up enjoying this video, which I really hope you do, you can also follow me on the social medias. I've been doing a lot more stuff on Instagram recently, and uh, so if you use Instagram, I, you know, check it out. I do stuff on there. I do stuff on Twitter as well. And uh, but, but most of my favourite things I do are on here. And the thing I'm going to do on here is do another unboxing because you've read the title of the video and of course you know I'm going to do an unboxing. And besides, you're probably thinking to yourself, does he, does he really need another box? Does he? Yeah, of course I do. Of course I need more tarot. I mean, I don't need it. I mean, I just choose to buy them. It's not, I'm not addicted. It's not like I owe people money and I have to make as many videos as I can within a single year. I have to break my kneecaps by the end of the financial year. But it's not like I have to worry about that at all. But what we are going to be doing is doing an unboxing of this really beautiful tarot deck. Uh, I'm going to try and get it in the angle where you can actually read the letters. So it's the... Ta oh, I've got it on the back here as well. So it says the tarot... Um, I always I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, it's Nui, uh, like Ennui. So it's uh, Terra de la Nui, because uh, you don't pronounce the you don't pronounce the T at the end. Silent, like the tarot, because you don't say the tarot, and unless you've left the cards and they've gotten damp and it gets mouldy, then it's tarot. <laughs> tarot rot. <sighs> okay, we'll just go on to the intro. Okay, let's first start off uh, with the box itself. I'm um, still sealed, but uh, now this is one of the more fancier looking uh, boxes. Now this is still like the standard price of, uh, well this cost me £22. So you're, you're still talking at about 15 to $18. So still nothing that will break the bank. So you still your standard fare when it comes to uh, tarot price. So. I think on the front here we may have the Empress. Uh, got the High Priestess there with the uh, BJ on the sides. Uh, that looks, I'd probably say, like the Moon there and the Hermit, maybe. Who knows? But we'll, we'll, we shall find out. But as it comes to like general deck display, this is definitely something I'd love to have as just on the shelf next to maybe some of my classier looking decks. And so the other, th uh, another thing that kind of drew me to this is not is also the fact it comes with one extra card. So we've actually got seventy nine cards. So what we're going to do? We're going to look out the old tape measure. So we are looking at five inches or fifteen centimeters by three and a half inches or eight centimeters and of course the top here we are looking at um, just short oh can't really see it there but uh, just short of uh, just beyond two inches so that's about five and a half centimeters so you've got the nice display, uh, name on here as well I'm trying to make sure it's not too shiny there and obviously at the bottom it's got uh, all the different country, all the different languages. Now, as of, as the name would suggest, it is French. So, from what I can gather, it's just it's a French name, but not necessarily written in the French language. But uh, let's find out. Also, got my cool fancy knife, and uh, that I got from an old friend of mine who I'm no longer friends with because that just happens in life. But we shall take a very careful. Now, don't try this at home, kids. Only adults and stupid people should do this. Um, so for double safety, get a stupid adult. They, they're probably twice as likely to be successful with this. 
Let's put that away there, so quick unwrap. Right. So yeah, so it's not thankfully it's not so reflective now. So um, I guess I've not actually looked at any, looked these up at all. So what I'm probably going to probably going to reckon is that maybe the edges are going to be gilded. That would be lovely. And they aren't. Fair enough. Um, I've got, although one of my other suspicions was confirmed, a suspicion I did not talk out say out loud, because um, that's quite a thick book. Um, so when you get a deck box this sort of size, the, the book itself does tend to be quite thick. Uh, oh, that's a very nice background. I'm trying to avoid looking at the top card here, but that's a nice background. <clears throat> Obviously, it looks like it does allow you to do inverted readings if you are a mad person who likes to do inverted readings because there's something wrong. Um, sorry, I don't do inverted readings. I uh, no shade, no shade on anyone who does like to read inverted. It's just not a thing for me. So we do have our little book here, so it's quite nice. Uh, but, uh, Nothing really great there. Oh, you can see the camera in there as well. There you go. Reflecting upon yourself. Uh, but then cards always good for self-reflection. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, okay, so this is quite a wide book. So, I have this beautiful picture here. Probably, this probably won't be a card in the deck. But we shall take a look. So, we've got English, Italian, Spanish, French, uh, Portuguese and Russian. And if I've got any of those wrong, uh, please don't leave a comment down below telling me about that I've got it wrong. So it doesn't appear, so just go straight to the, so the instructions, just go straight to the cards. Let's have a quick flick through, see if it does any, um, uh, uh, ah, here we go, how to use the deck. Okay, so you've got your instructions after the cards themselves. It's a bit strange. I just want to see if it has any uh, card layouts. Aha! Okay, so we've got one card reading. The knight. So we've got here uh, the knight spread. There's a joke in there, but I'm not going to make. Okay, so it just has the one spread in here. That's interesting. <clears throat> so now we'll have a quick look at the cards themselves. So we've just got a nice um, uh, one of the cards from the cover there. So that's pretty good. Have a quick slice. No, just take that out of harm's way. Right. There you go. Ugh. Never do the packaging well. <laughs> I never undo the packaging well. Um, now, <clears throat> just from the offset, it does look like there's no edges. So this actually reminds me of um, Tarot Z. Uh, the zombie tarot I did I did an unboxing for last year around Halloween of all times, so yeah I'm getting kind of getting that sort of vibe from these. So let's have a look. So I've got that card there, which looks pretty good. So next we have the fall, and that is a very beautiful looking fall there. Looks really really good. Um, I'm quite blown away by that. So. Oh, card, oh, side note, cardstock, quite thick, um, even for the Scarabeo. Uh, so if you find the Scarabeo a bit too thin, this is a lot. This is a little bit thicker, so that does feel good that way. Because I, th I think a few, a few of my uh, friends and subscribers all kind of vary on the sort of tastes and sort of deck quality. So this is slightly thicker than the Scarabeo and. It also has a kind of very smooth feeling to them as well. So it is a very smooth sort of deck. So it's a bit of gloss to them. So next we have the Magician. Um, she looks pretty cool. Um, so she's not actually holding any items. So she's, uh, yeah, so she's got the magic but not actually holding anything in particular. So next we have the High Priestess who Oh, once again, look, uh, we saw on the side of the box, so she does look pretty good. Yeah, um, okay, so that was the Empress. That's good. Um, she does look quite chilled there, actually. Okay, next we have the Emperor. Uh, that's a handsome looking man. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like uh, Jon Snow from the, game from the Thrones game. 
I should really play that game. It's really popular, I've heard. Not many people play it now, though. So I've got the Hierophant. So these are kind of very... So these are like um, altered photographs, which I'm not always a fan of. Uh, but it seems to work quite well in this deck. Uh, so you've got like the love. So you've got the lovers. It kind of looks like. Uh, damn it, I can't remember his name. Um, actually, he's been playing Professor X um, recent and last few films, whose name I can't remember right now. Um, so we have the chariot. Now, let's have a look. so I'm kind of looking at this from the side. Oh, camera's gone. Come on. Ah, damn it. Yeah, sorry, I had to do a quick cut there because the camera decided to blur out. So, they, yeah, so, uh, Chariot, once again, Chariot looks really cool. However, that doesn't make me think Chariot, the picture itself, but it looks quite nice. Strength, that's a nice looking lion there. Handsome devil, and a very pretty young maiden. Um, once again, that's more of a once, nice classic style. Now, once again, the artwork on these are just phenomenal. They do look just great. So we've got the Hermit, um, who kind of looks like Raven from the Titans TV series. Uh, and a bit from the comic books as well, actually. Yeah, something for you comic book fans. Ah, uh, oh, nice. So we've got wheel. So we've got the wheel, and it looks like it's the uh, Fate Sisters. So that's a really beautiful, that's a good one. I think I've seen stuff like that before, but they've done that really well. Got a nice bit of justice. I uh, uh, just love the look. Um, sword is more of a foil, or not really a foil, but more of a, uh, a repair. So that looks pretty good. And uh, scarf's quite nice. But the, just being red, you don't tend to see that too often, but... Red is, red is a good colour for you, Justice. Uh, so we now have the Hanged Man. Uh, looks quite nice. Um, more kind of like that Innocent Sacrifice sort of look to it. Uh, death card. Now I know I've se now this is a very kind of popular Day of the Dead sort of look to the death card. So it looks nice. Art, what uh, the colours are quite nice, but. I guess if you've seen one day of the dead death card, you've seen them all. Uh, so we've got Temperance. And got this nice little kind of either a mirror or window behind her. So she's pretty cool. I can't really see what she's doing. She's not really doing anything with her... No, she's not really doing anything with her hands. It's the water happens to be pouring pretty much on its own. Uh, the Devil. And... That I believe is a, I believe that's a Russian-born model. Um, I'll put her name. I'll put her name along here. I believe that's a model. It used to be a contortionist. I'm telling you way too much about the stuff I know. Um, so we've got the tower. Now that looks kind of cool because it looks like the aftermath. The aftermath, really. So it looks like the tower's already gone. Or at least what's happened happened, so it's more of a barren field rather than anything else going on there. So you've got the star. It's very quaint. And out and it's more of a fairy rather than an angel. Um that's some um, random person. Um so we've got the moon. Okay, I was wrong about the other card being the moon. Um that does look quite cool. Okay, once again, kind of uh, once again, kind of very, very damselly. Reminds me of the full card from the Tower of the Haunted House in that kind of gown. Now, when I've come across photo real, photo real, um, real photo tarot before, they've always been very. The quality has never really been there, but it definitely is hit is with this. So, uh, so you've got the sun there, nice sunrise. She looks quite nice. Looks like she's looks like she's kind of more wait. That's that, that kind of cliche of someone waiting for their husband or their love at the coast, coming back from shore, coming back from the ship. Uh, so you've got uh, justice, which is like the passage to the yeah passage to the next life. But there's no kind of hint of um, not going to heaven. It just looks more of here is to move on to the afterlife. Ah, okay. So we've now got the world. So 
That's good. So at the moment we've ticked off um, all of the cards barring this one. So I'm guessing that might be the Queen of Swords. But let's find out as we go. Oh, okay. So okay. So we've got the Angel, uh, Angel de la Nuit. Uh, uh, Sorry, my French is still a bit rusty. But uh, well, at least we know what. At least we know our extra card. Uh, yeah. So it's the Angel de la Nuit. It's, it's, it's weird because I can remember how to pronounce the last word, but then it's having to pronounce the other words before it. So, yeah. So then we've got the Ace of Cups, who. Uh, well, that that is a really beautiful card. Once again, um, congratulations, I guess, congratulations on all the models involved in this because these are really nice looking people. Uh, so, we've got the Two of Cups, which doesn't necessarily have the kind of romance angle. It has that partnership, but not so. I would probably say, yeah, there's not much of a roman uh, romance here. They look more like sisters than uh, potential suitors for each other. So we've got the three. And it has a Alice in Wonderland sort of look. Now, I kind of have my issues with the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland. So anytime I see something that makes me think of that particular those films, uh, it does give me the sads. Sorry guys, not a fan of Tim Burton's um, Wonderland. I like Tim Burton. I've got his other films, but just don't like Wonderland. Uh, so the Four of Cups. Um, I had a poster like this once. Uh, I guess that's a kind of classic way to... That's kind of a interesting way to look at it. There's no real cups in the shop, but she's still not happy. Five of Cups. Less... There's kind of less sadness in this. There's not as there's not as much feeling of uh, misery or being left behind. So I think that's a good thing. So you've got the six of cups. Um, this is a very different style with this one. Very sort of grim dark. Let's be fair. And uh, yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's no real feel of nostalgia there for me. You've got the seven. You've got the moon. So. Once again, this is kind of very so. This feels very different from the stash, uh, from the standard riders in the fact that they're not really there's there's no actual objects they're looking at, and there's nothing really here that says anything about having different options or any forms of distraction. So uh, I wouldn't say the so these don't look like to be t particularly easy to read. So you've got the eight here. So and um, yeah, it doesn't look like necessarily she's walking away. Um, as you'd have with the eight, step with classic eight. So you've got the nine. She looks kind of content, but not as there's not much um, arrogant git as we have with the classic nine of cups. So next we have the ten, and once again, that doesn't necessarily have that standard feeling of uh, family closeness and togetherness. It's just a really pretty woman looking at moonlight. So. So we've got the Page of Cups. So I like the fact that the uh, that, that we've got a few mermaids. I am a fan of the old mermaids me. And we've got the Knight of Cups. Nice little symbol here. Um, of several pentagrams in each quadrant. But they look pretty good. Um, Queen. Queen of Cups. Let's have a quick look. Um, she, she has a bit of kind of sadness there really it doesn't feel like she's put um i mean sometimes with the queen there is like an emotional sadness then it seems to be quite prevalent in this one and you've got the king of cups a very handsome man who is in a very good fit condition i mean i would um so then you've got the ace of pentacles um looks like i don't know so um a uh, plant Disney villainess here, I guess. Uh, two of, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say cups instead of wearing red pentacles because cups is just easier to, um, because coins are just easier to say. Okay, so we've got a Snow White situation there, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, well, I spoke about this online saying that I'd purchase this, and I was told there'll be film references, so I can see this. I can kind of see that happening now. So if there's any film references I haven't noticed, and you're shouting at the screen. 
Sorry I haven't noticed them, I just don't watch a lot of TV and it's been a while since I've seen some films. Uh, but yeah, so with the... Now this has that kind of... This reminds me of the classic uh, three, of, uh, three of Coins, just in the fact that it's usually like a cathedral the person's working on. So that kind of works for me there. Uh, for the four... They don't really look like they're any doing... Once again, there's no real classic feeling here, it's just... Here is this person because why not? Once again, none of these are complaints. I'd like to preface this. None of these are complaints. Ah, the Five of Pentacles. Have a proper look at you now. Okay, so the end, the side card was the Five of Pentacles, and I can't figure out why that would need to be on the side. But still a nice card. Still, still a nice card. So next we've got the uh, the six. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not really gonna make any more comparisons. Uh, these, are, as I said, these are beautiful cards. Um, these would be once again very tricky to read, so I wouldn't necessarily um, recommend these for beginners. Or also, you know, so even if you're one of, you know, even if you're buying a deck for someone else, I would not recommend this for someone who's starting out. Um, unless they're like really spiritually deep. Is that from? Oh, okay, so you got something from the Black Swan there. Man, that was a good film. Uh, that's um, so once again pretty good. Don't quite see the connection there, but once again, there we go. Um, nice, uh, ballet there for the eight. Um, I do like the the implied wings on the side there as well. I think that looks beautiful. Got the nine, kind of a n nice bit of Narnia. You can tell she's come out the cupboard. <laughs> Um, so you've got the ten, who hmm, kind of looks like an overdressed enchantress from the um, Suicide Squad, and less dancey. Um, so you've got the page here from Frozen. Um, I've not seen Frozen, so I can't remember the characters' names. I'll call it Ellie. Ellie, there we go. It's, that's probably Ellie. Um, I know it's not Ellie. Yeah, that looks, no pun intended, that does look really cool though. It does look really cool. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay, the knight with a scythe. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm fully aware that's supposed to be Game of, maybe Game of Thrones? I only watched up to series three. So, but uh, she does look pretty cool in that one. As I said, if I miss out any films, I do apologise. Or TV series. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles here. She feels more like a Queen of Swords. She she feels... Ah, uh, I don't know. She does, has a very... Once again, just very, a lot of sorrow there. And some random bloke uh, for the King of Coins. He does not look particularly happy in his wealth. He doesn't look like he values what he has. This is a metaphor, I get metaphor for everyone, I guess. So we've got the Ace of Wands there. Looks pretty cool. Um Two of Wands. Um she looks like someone I do not want to annoy. Um once again, just amazing artwork there. A bit of nice bit of CG with the uh skull and the implied flames there. I just do look quite like that one. So we've got the three of wands. Uh, yes, also, um, this, this once again a deck full of very attractive women and the occasional handsome man. I'm surprised, in fact, I'm surprised they didn't ask me to be involved in this. So I've done a bit of modelling in my day and I am top five most handsome men in tarot, uh, at least online. <clears throat> so, uh, four here. And, I don't know, it's shit. That's good. Very nice, but she just looks like she's just waiting for something. It doesn't look like there's a lot of stability going on here. It looks like she's waiting for the stability or fearing to move forward. Um, so we've got so this one has more of a classic look to it with the uh, with the five here. But then this makes me think more of the five of cups rather than wands. I oh, know five of pentacles. Sorry, makes me think of the five of pentacles. Uh, six of wands. Uh, we have. Um, and a red-haired woman surrounded by black and purple 
because that's what you think when you think the six of wands apparently um once again i'm going back to this is a beautiful deck but once again not quite um a standard i guess so is that buffy no okay sorry from the angle that because i'm kind of seeing this with the monitor on the camera so uh she looks pretty cool and uh, once again someone not to mess with so this does have that classic feel not necessarily seeing their combatants but she's ready to she's ready to groove ah oh, it's a long day <laughs> um eight of wands um not quite once again not quite as i thought it would be um that doesn't really have that feeling of pushing on forward so next we have the nine and once again this has that control uh, she has a good feel of control here and what she can do but once again nothing really nothing really to, no, no, doesn't feel like she has any barriers really then we've got the 10 um which they look yeah, okay they they are kind of on fire so they're just kind of being overwhelmed with all the stuff they've got to deal with so we've got the page uh, kind of like, looks like something from, kind of like an elf type lady. Uh, the knight. Um, once again, I wouldn't necessarily look at that as a knight. Maybe, I probably would have put that as the queen, personally. Um, okay, this I was not expecting. That looks beautiful. That looks something, that would be something, this would probably be one of the things, if I had all the wall space in the world, I'd have this picture uh, up on my wall in the more lighter spaces. And the uh, King of Wands, who looks like he's a bit of a vampire there with his... Either that or he's just like really bitten his lip, like proper bad. So we've got the Ace of Swords. This is kind of the mood I would imagine to get with these swords, but let's see how this continues. It's another mermaid. This deck likes its mermaids. Um, okay, so that's probably supposed to be the little mermaid and that's supposed to be captain whatever his face is i've only seen the little mermaid once i don't know how i've made it this long and only watched that film once but you know stranger things happen at sea i guess um i'm guessing that's so i've got three oh, sorry i thought that was supposed to be like jesus being crucified or something but yeah um that's kind of very accurate to how the three of swords actually kind of feels uh, 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 quick, quick, uh, quick, quick history. First time I ever did myself a uh, tarot reading uh, with my first ever deck, which was the Mermaids. My current situation in the spread was the Three of Swords, and so the Fool is my favourite. <clears throat> but the Three of Swords is the first card I ever got in an actual reading when I was doing it for myself. So <clears throat> Three of Swords does resonate with me on a negative level, but there's a nice bit of nostalgia to it, I guess. So this one does feeling like just you know take some time out you know clock out for a bit yeah cuz cuz the, cuz they're sleeping <clears throat> um nice little vampire hunter there once again the uh, great costumes I do like the outfits here I'd wear most of these I uh, wouldn't know where I bloody hell I'd put them but I'd wear some of them if I could find them in my size um, so we've got the Six of Swords, and once again, there's no real feeling of travel amongst that one. So the Seven, nice feeling of freedom, but not necessarily. Pressing all those a lovely rose. Is that a rose in her hand? There you go. That's a nice little rose in her hand, and a nice kind of evil-looking castle there. Nice picture of the moon there. Oh, sorry, nice picture of the moon. Um, although that moon doesn't have a skull on it. Sometimes these moons have skulls, because don't we? You know, deep down, don't we all have a skull? I mean, deep down. Um, so we've got the Eight of Swords, and this feels like less of being trapped. And once again, this also does feel more like similar to the uh, four we saw earlier. Uh, nine, that does feel a bit more. Uh, does have that standard feel, I guess. Um, that does have that either trap, uh, feeling trapped or not being able to move on forward. So that does have that right feeling. Um, so we also now have the 10, which I guess that is that feeling of just giving up. 
so rather than being overwhelmed. So I, I do like the depiction of that. So uh, the page, I guess looks like someone who just likes a challenge, but isn't maybe a bit too mature, not mature enough to understand um, how to deal with those challenges. Got the knight. Well, I think this is the only male knight I've come across. Sorry, that's a, obviously that Sir uh, John Snow with his dire wolf. Once again, if I get this wrong, don't leave a comment. It's fine. Um, that's his uh, dire wolf. Um, Queen of Swords, who is very kind of has a nice kind of angelic look to her, and also makes me think about temperance. With that, so or no, that is actually a, sorry from this angle. No, that that is actually a sword. That is actually a sword there. So, uh, mum say, it looks like uh, see small cups. And finally, the king, who looks like the Witcher, and more from the video game rather than the series, only because I've not seen any of the Witcher TV series. But yeah, so I guess overall, um, it's a lovely deck. Uh, very beautiful. So if you are a collector such as myself, you could really, you know, you could do so much worse than a deck like this. Go, go for it. It's still like a good. It's it's a standard price. So I said it cost me twenty two pounds. So you're probably still looking at an average price for tarot, even though it's a thick box. Um, box is great on display. Looks great. Will look great on the display. Um, yeah, it's. It's definitely worth purchase. As I said, be a bit tricky to read um, if you're not um, used to it. But overall, this is a this is, this is a belter. There we go. It's a belter. Um, I definitely I'll definitely look forward to using these in the future. But anyway, that aside, um, if you enjoyed this video, once again leave a like and a subscription, and you can also follow me on the social medias. Link in the description, and I shall see you again soon.